Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel, but today I have something a little bit different because I am working once again with the folks over at Elam Designs, which you know because they are sometimes in some of our other favorite boxes. They have beautiful stationery and journal items, gorgeous letterpress cards, and they also have candles. They were uh, kind enough to let me feature some of their beautiful products on the channel a few months ago, and then we are working together now on this amazing new line which is a little more uh, let's say sarcastic and sassy so a little bit more in line with who I really am um, but hopefully it's something that you enjoy as well if you are someone where your ears or your eyes just burn if you see or hear any profanity this might not be the line or the video for you and I totally understand but if you kind of have that occasionally crass or let's call it colorful sense of humor then you might absolutely Love the Mule line by Elam. So what is Elam spelled backwards? It's Mule because this line is a little ass backwards. I just think that is so clever. Let's get into it. I have five candles and five cards to share with you. There's so much more on the website and I do have an affiliate link and a code for you. Hooray. It is High Noel. It'll save you 15% on your order and get you free shipping, which we all know shipping is crazy these days. So free shipping is a huge bonus. That's a big savings right off the bat, especially when they're shipping fragile and heavy items like candles. So all right, you guys, I'm very excited because I've looked at these candles, but I haven't actually smelled them yet. So I'm really excited to smell them because the descriptions sound amazing. So the candles are crafted right here in San Diego. So I kind of love that it's a local business for me. They hand pour all the candles at their home office. And then when the team is pouring candles, it makes the whole office smell amazing. Can you imagine? That sounds like a dream job for me. Um, so they use high quality soy wax that is less smoky and more environmentally friendly than a paraffin wax blend. Um, I did have candles in that first series of items that I showcased here on the channel. They they burn lovely and they have a nice throw to them. So uh, all of the candles in the Mule line feature curated signature scents. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. So I have four in the same size in these gorgeous um, like iridescent glasses. So let me just get started with the first one. I love this. So isn't that a cute shape? where it gets like tapers up at the top. I'm not showing you the label yet because that's the fun part. And then it's got this nice wood top with the seal. Yes, so you can totally reuse these jars, but it's kind of this iridescent glass. I don't know if that's gonna show up on camera just because the light is so bright, but you can kind of see that like purple hue. So it's gonna look really pretty when you're burning it. So a lot of there says like one phrase in big bold letters, and then there's a little script that makes it a little bit more sassy. So this one on a big level says, meditate and chill right that's something we can all get um on board with and then in the little writing it says let that shit go yep right so those two things don't definitely go hand in hand so it says it's a calming lavender scent to put you in that serene no f's given kind of mood absolutely and that that little description is even in the smaller writing so i love that let me read a little bit more about it to you just stressed out same. Light this candle and feel your worries and your stresses melt away. This candle is like a yen, yen, zen yoga class, yin yoga class after a long day. A quiet morning after a restless night, a glass of wine after the kids go to bed. You light this candle and you feel your stress start to melt away. Part of our ever sassy mule line, the meditate and chill candle reminds you to stop, take a couple deep breaths and just chill out, man. It is five and a half ounces of soy wax scented with Lavender Days is the fragrance. So it smells like you're meditating a sun-drenched lavender meadow. Remember to inhale the positive and exhale everything else out, AKA let that shit go. So it says when you light this calming candle, take in a deep breath through your nose because this relaxing candle smells amazing. Nice copywriting over there, Elam Designs. I like it. So this candle is $16.99. Let's give it a sniff. Oh yeah, I can already feel myself chilling right here. So it's a little bit sweet and lavender at the same time. So mm, that is nice. All right. So $16.99 for the candles this size. I have two more of them, three more of them to share with you. And then one bigger size candle because sometimes we need a bigger size candle. All right. So this one I'm really looking forward to. So you can kind of see it in the big writing. It says radiate sunshine. And then the small script, it's not, not anything bad. It says 
OMG, you're glowing. And then in the small script, it says a bright tropical fruit scent that smells like basking in the sunshine. Bring on the happy vibes. Yeah, and even the colors, I just thought this whole line felt very springy. So we actually kind of like put this video on hold because I was like, I feel like this is like perfect for all of us emerging from winter and needing a little brightness and lightness in our lives. So let's see, again, these are $16.99. Oh my god, that smells so good. That is like my new favorite scent right there. So, uh, you know those people in your life that just radiate good vibes and sunshine and rainbows all the time? Yeah, sometimes those people annoy me. <laughs> like the human embodiment of Sunday brunch? If you answered yes, you need to buy them this candle. Well, no, I need the candle. They're already happy and sunny. It says if you answered no, then you're that person and you need this candle for yourself. Either way, this candle is perfect for celebrating those radiant people in your life, part of our ever sassy mule line. The Radiate Sunshine Candle uh, is in the Sunlit Melon fragrance. I was trying to place that fragrance. You guys, it smells like cantaloupe, like melon. Oh my God, it smells so good. It really smells like melon. I did. I you don't get melon candles that often. Fruit, fruity tropical sunshine. They said lighting this candle is like slipping into an infinity pool, overlooking the ocean with palm trees swaying softly overhead. Skin is tanned, cold cocktail in hand. Life is good. It's, seriously, th there should be more melon scented things. Like fragrance, people take note. Oh my gosh, that, I'm coming back to that one. That one. That's so far. That's my favorite. We also have this one. Um, so this is again $16.99, but you can get 15% off. You can get all of these. You can collect them all. So it says self-love in the big letters. You guys can see it. And then inside uh, in the smaller script, it says accept your awesomeness. I like that. See, they're not all crass. They're not all swear words. It says a sweet and nurturing scent that reminds you to be kind and thankful to yourself. Go ahead give yourself a hug. There is one big candle that I was real tempted to uh, review that just like literally like F, 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 which I thought was hilarious. Uh, let's see. Let's see what this scent is. Hmm. <laughs> we'll have to read about it. Very cute, bright colors though. You know when you've had just the longest day and all you want is for someone to give you a big hug and tell you how incredibly awesome you are? That's what this candle's for. Part of the mule line as backwards. It is the most wholesome candle to light when you need a reminder of self-love. Uh, it is Coconut Coast is the fragrance. Mm -mm -mm. Smells like tropical coconuts with undertones of warm vanilla. This candle smells like a breakthrough in therapy, a big bear hug, weighted blanket, all combined into one gorgeous candle. Light the candle. It's called self-care, sweetie. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. So that's a sweet coconut. You know, a lot of times when things are coconut scented, you're like, I smell like sunscreen or that smells like sunscreen. It smells like, it just smells coconutty. It smells more like a, I should have a nice frothy coconut drink in my hand. Mmm, it's good. It's a little sweet because of the vanilla, but not so sweet that I'm like, you guys know me in sweet scents, so I can't do them. So yeah, it's more coconut with a hint of sweetness. I like it, I like it. And it's cute. It's like, you're awesome. I love that. All right, we have one more in this size, the $16.99 size. This one is, swear word ahead, friends. It says, very busy. This is like the candle you need like at work, or probably at home too, at work. And then in the small writing, in the white, it says, kindly F off, but they don't say F. Uh, it says, um, an energizing and assertive citrus scent with a touch of sweetness. I mean, we did say it nicely. That is so true. We did say it nicely. Finally, the perfect candle for you to light when you have too much to do, too little time, and too many people asking you dumb questions. Part of our mule line, the very busy F off candle, is a perfect warning sign to put on your desk to let your coworkers know they need to leave you the F alone. When the candle is lit, those around you know to turn around and walk away. Turn around, walk away. You just like hold up the candle. Be like, look close. Uh, <laughs> uh, so this is, ooh, this is going to be a good one. Candied pomelo, which smells of citrusy grapefruit and sweet candied orange peels. It smells like peace, productivity, and progress. Go on, girl. Get it done. So um, that smells like something that I would be putting in my copywriting. I'm like, it's this, this laptop brings you peace, productivity, and progress. I'm like, or you could just get a candle. Oh... Oh, fruity scent, be still my heart. Mmm, citrusy goodness. 
Oh, that's so nice. Mm, okay, that's a close contender. But I'm coming back to my melon friend. Mmm. Oh, I just need these like on, on repeat. Ah, uh, melon. Mmm. A little hint of coconut. It's still like wafting over here. That's it's all good. It's all good. So I promised you I do have one big candle and I still have five cards. And these are not, this is not the whole collection. So I highly encourage you, use the link. I'll leave it for you in the description box below. Head on over there and shop around. I'm sure you will find something on that site. Even if it's not on the mule line, but I'm sure you'll find something in, in on that site that you are going to want. This one, I think, is a perfect gift for many of our friends or ourselves. Hot mess, hot mess, hot mess. Let's see what the tiny writing says. It says, for the days when you realize your underwear is on inside out and the phone you've been looking for has actually been in your hand the whole time. I have definitely been on the phone with people who are like, oh my goodness, I left. Like anyone actually knows that this is what phone receivers used to look like. I left my phone in the cab. I'm like, darling, you're talking to me on the phone. Oh, that's true. Here's a candle <laughs> to just rub it in. So it says, we've all had those days. Oh, you know what? This is definitely written by somebody in California. I like that. Traffic on the 805, mostly because they put the the in front of it. You spill coffee on your keyboard. Your shirt is somehow both inside out and backwards. This is a relatable reminder that we all have those days. We are only human after all. 10.5 ounces yeah nice container again that you could totally reuse afterwards 10.5 ounces of soy wax centered with our black plum plum oh, speaking of hot mess black plum dahlia scent a fruity and floral fragrance with subtle warm spicy undertones this candle helps us feel a little bit more put together be easy on yourself we're all a little messy a little messy a little bit mm. Ooh. wow mm-hmm it, that is a perfect description. There's a little plum, like the plum hits you first, and then a little floral, and then a little spice. It's got a little more depth, a little like more warmth, a little more, not musky, but like depth. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. I'm going back to my melon. It's delish. Oh, so good. All right, you guys, we have letterpress items to look at, and these are gorgeous, and they deserve our attention. Uh, so a little background on the letterpress. They are printed right here in San Diego. They have four vintage Heidelberg letterpress printers and one vintage Heidelberg, Heidelberg foil stamping machine. They actually have some videos of these machines at work, I think on their Instagram, but also obviously on their website. All of the machines are from the mid-century, aka the 1950s through the 1970s, so these are like classiques that are creating these cards. Um, so yes, they have a video on Instagram. Um, I'll maybe if I can, I'll leave the link for you if I can. So the printing plate from the letterpress leaves an imprint on the thick stock, which gives them a unique look and feel. So they almost look like engraved. It's really cool. All the letterpress items are thoughtfully designed and printed since the cards have to go through the letterpress and foil stamp once for each color featured on the card. This means that if the card's design features four colors and gold foil, the card goes through the letterpress four times with the ink cleaned off all the rollers in between each run. And then it goes through the foil stamping machine at the end. So it is truly a labor of love and the craftsmanship really shows through and then when you realize that the price is $5.99 for each of these cards it seems a little bit more reasonable because of like the true craftsmanship it's not like somebody just put this you know pressed print and it comes shooting out of a modern day printer um, but I and I just think they're really stunning so you can even see it on um, here's the mule it's like engraved I can't show you the texture it's like easier for me to show that to you like when I'm doing photos for Instagram, but this one's pretty cute. So it says, welcome to the club, but then it says, you've got this in the foil, like a holographic silver foil. It's the new parents club though. Cute outfits, up all night, popping bottles, milk drunk, bouncers and ballers, but ballers is spelled B-A-W-L-E-R. So look how cute that is. You can all get my, get my lights to focus on it. So welcome your loved ones to the new parents club with our welcome club letter press greeting card. This new baby card shows that late nights spent in the new parent club isn't all that unfamiliar. Foil stamped with brilliant glitter foil and letter press printed on 100% cotton rag paper with soy based inks. This card is proudly made in SD. I like it. It's really cute. I do have some new parents in my friend group, surprisingly enough. I didn't think that would happen, but you know, some of them are still on, on round one. I am on round zero. <laughs> All right, this one, there's gonna be a swear word. 
avert your eyes if you're sensitive to that. Or I know some of you are like, this is gonna be a good one. This is the one I want. So this one is clever because the big letters, you can read it, says birthdays effing blow, which you know, when you get to a certain age, you don't necessarily, you, I'll celebrate my birthday. You don't need to know how old I am. Um, but then in the little letters, it actually incorporates those words. So it says birthdays in little tiny yellow are the best reason to celebrate you being alive because you are effing fabulous and deserve the absolute best. So don't forget to make an exciting, amazing wish when you blow out the candles. Cute, right? How they used blow. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I think that's adorable. So I'm trying to get the yellow to show up a little bit more for you. So our birthday's effing blow letterpress greeting card is not what it seems on first glance. The card features a sarcastically clever double meaning and is glitter foil stamped and letterpress printed on, you guessed it, 100% cotton rag paper with soy-based inks right here in the Diego. This one's cute too. So this one says, besties for the resties love you, mean it, in the foil, in little. Together we make the world a weirder place, and I'm here for it. I love that. It's pink, but I'll still go for it, and I know exactly who this card is going to. Uh, so it says, you don't need an occasion to celebrate weirdness and friendship. However, this card just so happens to be the perfect card for Valentine's Day. Oh, well, I missed that, but you know what? We're weird year-round, so I don't need a Valentine's made up holiday for that. It says birthdays, thank yous, or just because. Yeah, this is a just because gift for my my weird friend. It says our besties resties letterpress greeting card is perfect to give to your BFF, your ride or die, and your partner in crime. This card is glitter foil stamped, letterpress printed on 100% cotton rag paper, soy based inks. Guess where? San Diego. <laughs> Did you think I was gonna like surprise you and be like, this particular card was actually printed in Baltimore? No. Do you know how heavy those like printing machines are? We got two more. Again, all of these are $5.99. You guys, you don't necessarily feel, look, these are the envelopes, by the way. Really nice envelopes and then really nice thick cardstock. It's beautiful. And the engraving on them is just, it's not really engraved, but there is texture, but it's really printed in there. It's so cool. I know you're trying to read the card. I never liked them anyway. <laughs> and then it says, later asshole. <laughs> I'm sorry you're going through this. Breakups suck, but so did they. <laughs> so talk about special occasion specific event card, but like the perfect one for it. Uh, so, uh, let's see. With some needed humor and encouragement during hard times, our Never Like Them letterpress greeting card is the perfect breakup card. This card is glitter foil stamped and letterpress printed. I feel like they didn't even need any more, like, you know, description for this. It's just, that's the sentiment. I never liked them anyway. Peace. Later, asshole. Um, I'm sorry, you're going, this is so true. Breakups suck, but so do they. So, it's true. Sometimes breakups are like amicable. Sometimes they necessitate a card like that. All right, and then this one, oh, this is a good one. Uh, so <laughs> this one, it's actually like the uh, profanity is in the large letters and the like more subtle meaning is um, in the smaller, beautiful glitter uh, foil. You're the shit. Like you are the bomb, you're the shit. And then in the little foil, it says, thank you, thank you. Um, but again, you know, some people would just be like, this is the best thank you card I have ever gotten. It says, it's a compliment, not literally shit. Come on, this is a thank you card in case we need to spell it out. So let me hold this up to you and let's see what they have to say over there. It says, thank you friends with our the shit letterpress greeting card. Um, that's pretty much all it says. But I, like, to me, that's like the funniest thank you. Like if someone gave that to me, I'd be like, what? Oh my God. How'd you find a card like that? And then just to be weird. It's a compliment, not literally shit. Come on, it's a thank you card. Um, You guys, these are so cute and they're so colorful. Um, and I feel like you might have some occasion for all of them. You know, some of them aren't necessarily the ones that you would have on hand, but I personally think that the birthday one is pretty freaking, there we go. I'm softening it for you. I think the birthday one is pre pretty freaking clever and a good one to have on hand. The New Parents Club, I happen to have some uh, recipients in mind for that, but this one and the thank you one, of course the ones that are like 
the most profane. I'm like, oh yeah, I have uses for that. I need to like stock up on both of these ones. But I also really just love like, birthdays are the best reason to celebrate you being alive because you are effing fabulous. Uh, let's go back to the melon. Mm. Radiate sunshine, friends. Radiate sunshine, even in times when you need to send one of these cards. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope that you don't mind a little irreverent, uh, slightly crude, slightly crass humor. And if you're like me, you really appreciate it and that there is a company making quality products that have this kind of fun, funny, bright sense of humor. And if you want, you can get some of them for yourself. I highly suggest like this melon one, you guys is is for everybody and there, there's nothing bad on here all right i hope you enjoyed and i will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing have a effing fabulous day